Day one here in Colorado was definitely the most difficult of the season so far. There were a lot of big walls and I just really wasn't feeling it the first two loops. I had a few fives that um, I don't know if it was my mindset or my energy or what, but I just I didn't give it everything I had and, and I knew Daniel was riding really well and I had a feeling he had a little bit of a lead going into the last loop. So I decided to just forget the first two loops and instead of being worried about crashing off of all this big stuff, I just said, you know, this is what I gotta do. I gotta hit hit my mark and, and stick to it and pin it wide open over and over again, but it uh, it ended up working in my third loop. I actually was on five points coming in section twelve and I, we didn't know exactly what the scores were but knew it was very close so I actually waited for Daniel to ride that one and he ended up five in it. I, I wasn't sure if that was enough for uh, the win so I ended up riding it as well and I really didn't want to but the bikes are running so good even at this elevation they can almost the bikes can do more than I really want to do at times and that was one of those times but luckily I got up there just far enough and held on for a two to end the day solid enough to take the win so definitely happy to to win despite um, not my best day but hopefully you can learn from this and move on to tomorrow and ride better. Saturday started out a little rough um, just looking at the sections it was super intimidating I came out with a pretty bad first loop I thought had a really bad crash in 12 so I tried that unfortunately didn't go my way but then uh, second loop was a little bit better even though I had a bad, another bad crash in section 8 which hurt my same foot that I hurt in 12 and, but I still bettered the loop a little bit and then my third loop finally started riding like I should have um, my loop scores were down around where Pat and Daniels were who were both riding like animals today I mean Daniel and Pat were going back and forth so that's awesome to watch you know from afar but uh, all in all it was a uh, Good result, happy with third for the championship and hoping I can keep this momentum going and hopefully improve tomorrow. Saturday was a roller coaster of emotions for me really because I started off the day uh, really well in sections one and two but as soon as I got to section three I fell really hard. It was one of my hardest falls that I've ever had on a trials bike and since then after that I fell a couple times because the sections here were uh, pretty challenging overall and there ended up being three that I ended up punching just because they were dangerous and I had already fallen and it wasn't worth getting hurt even more. That being said I went into the other sections and gave it all I had and I whittled my scores down throughout the day from section one to sec from from loop one to loop three I got my scores down to a pretty decent point total but you know I'm, I'm happy with the fourth but I, I could have done without hurting myself really bad because it didn't sit well with me. Saturday was an interesting day for me. I came out with another fifth place and it's my fifth fifth place in a row so um, it's a little bit aggravating but I mean it is what it is and we can only get better from here but the sections were very interesting. They were difficult yet easy at the same time. Uh, it was really easy to make a mistake and um, unfortunately that happened to me once again and so um, there's there's three sections that I ended up punching and I didn't I didn't really feel comfortable with the section so um, so I just ended up punching them but other than that I can only look forward from here and uh, like see what tomorrow brings. Saturday was a pretty good day for me. I was pretty excited because after the first loop I was sitting in third place so I was pretty stoked about that but uh, second loop and third loop I just couldn't pull it together. Uh, it was a big clean or five kind of day for a lot of the sections. I ended up punching a couple of them too. So it's hard to make up points, especially if you just didn't make it up the obstacle, you get a five and uh, just push you a bit further and further back. So it's unfortunate that I couldn't have done better and capitalized on that first loop, but I had a lot of fun today. I'm excited for tomorrow. It was good. I, I honestly started off a little rough. I was very tight and anxious and um, nervous, kind of just worried about my riding. And the sections were pretty difficult at first, and I wasn't really expecting that. So I think I started questioning questioning not having a minder and that kind of got out of the back of my head so I just started to ride tight um, my first loop and then I finally started to like um, find a flow relax a little bit um, my last two sections of the first loop and then that carried into my second loop which was a relief like then I was starting to enjoy myself again and um, I just felt like I could, was riding to my best of abilities and um, the third loop I kind of just like wanted to hurry up and get through my loops so I don't want to say that I motored my third loop but I was definitely on the move and I think with that um, I started to maybe lose some energy and just wasn't uh, I just started rushing too much and so I kind of lost like 
Maybe not right bad, but I think there may have been some places if I had slowed down I could have improved on a little bit. Um, so I feel like overall my riding was it was a little inconsistent. I did like have some great rides and then I would just have some weird tight rides where I was like not giving it enough gas or bouncing off of rocks because I just wasn't I was rushing it or I would ride like a little stiff and then end up like um, just getting forward on the bike and spinning and just I feel like I, I rode well, but I could have ridden better, so um, I'm happy with second, but not totally. <laughs> uh, honestly, it probably went about as good as it could be. Um, just being sick and all, it just been really hard for me to ride good and have energy and feel well, so all in all, I guess I'm glad I just survived the day and, and yeah, didn't get hurt and don't feel too terrible. Saturday was a really good day for me. Um, I started off really solid with a four point lap with uh, four separate ones that I knew I could clean up for the next lap. And then on the next loop coming into section six, I got really out of whack on this big hit. And I ended up running running over my minder Adam's ankle. And I got out with a three and a, another one later in the lap to uh, lead with a, another four point second loop. And then coming into the last one, I knew that I could put everything together and hopefully come out with a clean loop and then that kind of got in my head and coming into section two I just made a dumb mistake and got forward on the bike on the takeoff and ended up slipping and coming to a five in a section that I previously cleaned and a one later on that lap too to end with a six point loop so I'm really happy with how my bike worked and how, uh, how much power it has in this high altitude. Saturday was good, I uh, kept a good momentum, my confidence was up, the sections were huge Way to my uh, skill range, but I, you know, made it up everything. The all the hard stuff, I was flying right up it, so I was happy. Bike ran good all day. I can't thank my minder Kiefer enough and the team and roll on Sunday. Oh. Today was pretty similar as far as section severity went. They were very difficult once again. A lot of them were very clean or five. One of them I think just had one splatter in it even. So there were some long ones, some short ones, but mainly a lot of splatters and they were definitely tougher. Uh, they started off a little bit rough for me. I just didn't didn't have the confidence in the sections we had to ride and I think my, my attitude was a little bit off early on and I really let that affect me. I was really thinking about the championship this weekend and I was worried about getting hurt so I think that really affected my riding all weekend but about halfway through the first loop I decided to change my mindset and I think that really helped the rest of the day. I had uh, some really great rides on the second and third loops, cleaned quite a few of them, was able to clean everything besides section one so pretty happy with my riding with how tough the sections were, even managed to clean section 10 which was uh, a lot of guys were actually punching it and had two threes the first two loops and then ended up cleaning it in the end so finished on a strong note and looking forward to Oregon. Sunday was honestly, I think, a little harder than Saturday. Uh, less dangerous, but still the danger factor was high, but the level of the sections all across the board was pretty high. Um, I didn't ride very well today. I was just kind of in my own head, I think. I was nervous about a lot of the sections, really getting hurt. I didn't want to injure myself, but um, I ended up fifth place overall, so not too bad on the weekend. I think Daniel and I are tied for second in the series. So happy about that still. So Oregon's just gonna be an all-out battle and I just wanna thank everybody for being out here and putting on the event and making it happen and uh, posting it, so thank you. Sunday was one of the hardest trials I'd ever ridden since I started riding. Uh, my first loop, the sections were either clean or five. I had nine fives and three cleans, but nothing in between. And I had a hard time piecing together how to, how to get through all the sections with the least amount of points and uh, I effectively lowered my score by eight points for the second and then lowered it to a 30 point loop uh, on the third and overall I mean it's it is what it is a sixth place is good for the points but you know in the end it's I made it through it was an extremely hard trial one of the hardest weekends I've ever had riding 
and to make it through and to finish and to get some really hard sections because I had some great rides and I had some silly rides but to be able to finish it all and put together a semi-decent day I'm, I'm happy with it and uh, can't wait for Oregon and the bike even despite the altitude the bike worked great uh, my mind and Louie did a great job and uh, can't wait to push on for some better results Sunday was an okay day for me. I don't know. Um, the sections really sucked. That's an honest opinion. I didn't like them very much. Of course, I had fun riding because you always have fun just riding trials, but the sections were just too gnarly, uh, just too big of consequences, and just too fine of lines to where it just could all just go bad and you just get really hurt. So, my body's really feeling it right now. I had a lot of crashes. Uh, had a lot of really good rides though, and uh, ended up seventh at the end of the day. Had a really good last loop, only ended up with three fives at the end of the day, unfortunately five number 12 just at the end, or just at the start of the section, was at the end of really good loops. That was kind of a bummer, I kind of tore up my bike pretty bad, but it was a, you know, it was a good day. I enjoyed riding and have fun, but the sections just were not, not what they should have been. Sunday was a pretty terrible day for me. I didn't have a lot of fun today. I started off with three big crashes and headed back to the pits multiple times to fix my bike, but um, I wasn't really able to recover after that, um, finish out that loop, and then second loop, uh, second section, I actually re-injured my wrist from 2016, so that sent me back even further, and uh, I mean, it, it was really hard to ride the sections, and the sections were just absolutely massive, and it was really hard to get through them with a hurting wrist, and so, um, after all, I mean, I was not too happy with my results, so we'll just have to push forward to Oregon and see what happens then. It was good. It was, um, I was expecting for a little bit more out of myself today, but my first loop was, it was like decent. I was just kind of trying to get used to things again. Put a lot of pressure on myself in the second loop and struggled a bit. So then the last loop, Brad told me have fun. So I really focused on that and kind of just like loosened up a little bit. I started to kind of ride just strong again. Felt much better in my last loop. I think I got like four points, which that's okay, it was still fun, like the sections were pretty fun, so. I told myself I was gonna have zero expectations going into it, um, and that went out the window like right at the start yesterday, but it was still fun, so I'm just happy to be back at the, at the Trials National. Overall, I'm like really happy, and it's nice to see everybody and be back with the team, and it's been good, great weekend. Sunday was much better, I felt a lot better today. I'm still just really drained and tired, but I just rode a lot better, and was able to clean it up a little. I was a lot closer to first and second place and pretty stoked that I got through the weekend and I'm just ready to recover and get ready for the next two rounds. Sunday was uh, not, not my best day on my bike. Uh, I started off really rough with an 18 point first lap because I was, uh, after a really nice solid ride on Saturday, I was, I was uh, a bit cocky with myself and that eventually led me to get a really bad first lap, so I knew I needed to make up on my second and third loop, and um, with only one five on my second loop, I had a 10 point lap, and then on my third, I got a little bit tired, but I still managed to pull out an 11 point lap, and my third loop was honestly, was uh, when I felt the best on my bike, and I was having a lot of fun, and big shout out to the team for uh, supplying me with an absolute rocket ship, and. Uh, uh, big shout out to Adam Blumhorse for keeping me in line this weekend and helping out. Sunday was a struggle. I uh, struggled to find my pace all day. I just My consistency was kind of horrible today. I'd ride some sections really good, then on the next loop I'd just screw up a different section that I didn't screw up the last loop and kind of just never found my pace all day and it definitely hurt. But uh, good day. No, no big crashes. No broken parts bike ran perfect and uh, once again my minder Kiefer held it together and kept us moving. And with an amazing 14 point ride for the day, Will Myers, first place. Second place goes to Luis Forsley with 46 points. Pat Smodgy with first place, 45 points. <laughs>